Hi everyone, it's Agnes. Welcome to another interview. We've got David again for part two. Hello, David. How are you doing, Agnes? Very well. Good to see you again. Good, good, good. <laughs> good to have you back. We had a lot of people, well, make comments in the threads, email me about your interview, how much they related to you. And yeah. it was just, I thought, yeah, let's do it again because you have such a lovely natural way of expressing yourself and talking about your journey. So welcome back. And hopefully, are you there? David, David. So as we were saying, <laughs> as we were saying, as we were saying, Okay, you take it over, David. You know where you need to start. All right. Okay. So I had a lot of fun with the last interview. Um, and Agnes, she said, hey, right away, we got to do it again. And I was like, what? What if I don't have my specific person by then? She's like, it doesn't matter. We should do it anyways. Um, we had fun. And you know what? I love that attitude. It's all about having fun. And even though I do have my specific person, but even though I haven't seen it externalized into physical reality, as Neville would put it, I have definitely manifested a lot of healing, a lot of relaxation, a lot of meditation, and you know, I've bettered me a lot. And I think that is extremely important. Um, it's, been, it's been over a year. <laughs> And I've seen in a lot of, in a lot of these get your specific person back videos, a lot of people will be like, "Hey, why is it taking so long?" I'd see other people do it in like a month or two months or three months, and I even saw that in the videos we did. And I remember a young lady said, "How does everybody get theirs back so fast? It's been so long for me." And then you commented and you said, "Well, it was over a year for me." And it was so good for me to read that, you yeah. know, because uh, scrolling through the comments, I was like, okay, I'm not the only one. No. But, but you know, um, when me and Nisha first had our fallout, right, she, uh, I didn't have a car. <laughs> I didn't have a job. I was living at home. You guys know the story I told y'all. And I didn't have a, I didn't have good credit. I didn't have anything for a wife. And I wanted her to marry me. Who's going to marry a guy who, with, you know, in those circumstances? And every you know, time. David, you know what I remember about your interview is you talking about your feet. Oh, yeah. And I wasn't <laughs> taking a shower. Any of it, you know? I wasn't doing anything. I was wasting away. I wouldn't go to the gym. Nothing. Yeah. But think about where I'm at now and I have a car now, you know, um, I recently just quit my job, but I'm still making passive income. Um, uh, so I have an income, I have a car still working on the house thing, you know, uh, my credit is good. So yeah. there are a lot of things that needed to take place and still do need to take place. And sometimes I get impatient and I say to myself, oh, man, when is she just going to, like, freaking call me already and, you know, fly over yeah. here so we can do all them things that people do that are in love. Um, <laughs> but then I say to myself, well, you know, I really want to give her the best. There's still some things that I need to work on. If the universe sees fit to bring her back before then, wonderful. But I'm still enjoying the waiting period, and I think that, it takes a conscious effort to enjoy the waiting period, just like it took a conscious effort for you to exert all this energy into this relationship when you first got in there, like you tried really hard. Maybe you should take that energy and that love that you're applying to somebody else to try to keep this relationship going and apply it to yourself. Mm. You won't be ready. If I didn't stop loving Nisha for a minute just to start loving me, then um, I don't know where I'd be. And I just want to thank the audience. I want to thank the comments. I read each and every comment. 
And all of you guys had wonderful things to say. One gentleman said he's got everything except he hasn't really let go. That's the only thing he did. And I don't know who you are, guy, but I've studied letting go so much since that comment. And I've had so much relief and so much relaxation concerning letting go. And it's wonderful. Um, and I really want to talk to you guys about, you know, what letting go is to me and what I think should take place. But I've had people from all over the world call me. I've had people tell me about their specific people. I've had people tell me what I need to do concerning my specific people. I've had people pray with me. I've cried with people. Uh, I've, I've laughed with people. And just building all the connections that I did was so wonderful. And knowing that all of you guys are in my corner concerning my specific person, I really believe it's helped me. Not just me, but my life. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the reasons why, you know, I left my job. It was a good job. It was a good paying job. But I want to help people. I want to motivate people. I want to change lives with everything that I know and everything that I do. And I want to get paid for it. Mm -hmm. you know? I can't do that in the job that I'm that I was in. So, um, you know, I feel like God really made a way for me to step out on faith, you know? Like uh with the um with my pension still having some income, but you know, stepping away from a good job. But I really believe that when you do something like that, when you step out on faith, that gives God the opportunity to do something great in your life. You know, if you want to eat, you set the table and, and let God bring the food. If there's no food, set the table first. And for me, uh, uh, to set the table, I had to step out. I'll give you an even better one. They say if you want to take over the island, you burn all the boats. And I said, listen, I got to do what I love. So what do I got to do? I got to burn all the boats <laughs> so that I'm stuck here. And I got to I gotta find a way to make it swing, the things that I love to do, you know, what I, what I want to do. So that's what I'm doing here right now. Uh, and I'm flourishing. Life is getting better. I'm getting more relaxed. Letting go for me. And this is the biggest thing. Letting go is a couple things. First of all, all the negative thoughts, all the, all the, well, it can't happen because of this, or, you know, I don't feel uh, adequate enough as a lover, and I'm not going to get to make love with them as much as I want to, and, oh, they, they blocked me, and, oh, they got somebody else, and, you know, what if this other person's better than me, and, you know, all of that stuff, all of it. I stop trying to fight those thoughts. If I need to cry, I cry. I stop trying to say, no, that's not true. That will never happen, blah, blah, blah. I let those thoughts happen. And when I let those happen, I know in the back of my mind that my willpower, my love, my belief will outlast it. But I find that the more I try to combat those or have good thoughts in place of those, the more those thoughts persist. And the more those thoughts persist, the more scared I get that I'm blocking my own meditation, a different person, or, you know, creating circumstances for her to never want to talk to me again. And then I, now, you know, when those thoughts come, I acknowledge them and I say, okay, that's how I feel right now. I'm okay with that. But you know what? I'm going to lay down tonight and I'm going to think about how wonderful it is laying next to her. And I find a lot now that I don't think about her as much. And I don't have nearly as much desire as I did before. And that alarmed me at first. And then me was like, man, you know, why don't I want this woman as much as I wanted her? But one of the things that I uh, from the first interview, she said, hey, you know, that's just your energy shifting and that's like your subconscious knowing that you've achieved what you desire. And you know what? I found a couple too that, uh, that was in there. So, as you were saying. Sorry about that, guys. As I was saying <laughs> once, you know, I, 
I really overcomplicated Neville's process when it comes to imagining. And I would think, man, I got to feel every detail. I got to remember every freckle. I got to remember every eyelash and mm. every feeling and what each and every individual finger feels like and every smell and you know and I was like really trying to make it real which isn't a bad thing but then I thought to myself there's a reason why I know what I want I know what I want because naturally I can imagine yeah and now you know I don't try to make it real I lay down and I close my eyes and I just say wouldn't it be nice if this were happening and automatically my mind goes there you yeah. know, there's a great speaker I think all of you should listen to. His name is Joe Dispenza. Mm. And uh, have you heard of him? Yeah, he does all the health recovering from a lot of uh, health issues. Right, right. Yeah. And it's not, and, and he does that. But in addition to, to health issues, you know, he just talks about, the, he really gets into the science uh, uh, of how feeling, having the feeling of something magnetically draws whatever that thing is to you. And he said something that blessed my soul. He said, one person sat down and said, I'm going to meditate until I absolutely feel what I desire. And I thought to myself, man, that's a state of like, that's a state of rebellion that I love. I'm a sick <laughs> And I'm gonna meditate until I feel it. Mm -hmm. that, that reminds me of the Buddha. I don't know if you guys know the story of the Buddha, but he's uh, he's under a tree, and he says, "I'm gonna sit here and meditate until I have peace, until I know the secrets of life." And everything came up against him and went to war with him. Satan and all his demons. I don't know what the equivalent to Satan would be, what the name of that would be in uh, Eastern Asian culture. But it was essentially Satan and his demons. He came to Buddha and they like drew some flaming arrows and fired it at him. And he was just meditating so hard the arrows turned into flowers. And like <laughs> this dude tried everything to get this man to get up and stop meditating, and he wouldn't stop meditating. And he found exactly what he was looking for. And I'm like, man, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, there is that's some that's some real serious prayer right there going on. That's what the Bible's talk about when it says you pray non-ceasingly. Uh, it, it says meditate on the things of the Lord that are good, things that are righteous, things that are beautiful, things that are lovely and honorable and of good report. And, and preceding that scripture, it says, um, "Let your request be made known unto the Lord." So you make your request, and then you focus on what's good. You meditate on what's good. That's what it says. You know, I grew up in a church, and a lot of people told me, they're like, no, I don't meditate. That's voodoo. That's witchcraft. That's this, that, mm. and the other. And I'm, now, you know, reading the Bible again, I'm looking at all these older uh, um, Southern Baptist preachers and, and, and the like, and I'm like, have you guys actually read the Bible? Like, have y'all actually read it? Because it, it talks a, a lot about that. I'm not trying to convert anybody, you know, from Christian to Buddhist, but there's a lot, there's a big emphasis in, I would say, every religion on meditation and, and getting the mind right. Uh, so there's another great guy that I really love. His name is uh, Billy Allsbrooks, and I listen to him every morning. He's a He's a motivational speaker, and he motivates me. He gets me in the right state of mind. You can pull you. You have the whole internet at your fingertips. There's no mm -hmm. reason why you guys cannot get in the right state of mind. You can listen to whatever it takes to get yourself in the right state of mind. And uh, man, he he says some great things that I really love. I'm trying to think of some of the things that he said that that moved me. It, he talks about how universal law says that your demands have to come when your faith is unwavering. That's it. Um, so I, I cried so many times listening to him in the morning because what he said resonated with me. It just rang true to my soul. And he's like screaming at you. And he's like, hey, you need to get up. You need mm -hmm. to get out here. You need to believe. I believe. You believe. We're going to believe. 
Um, so get yourself in a network of people that believe too. And that's what we're here for. That's what we do. You know, I used to think, I used to think I was like, I'm sure the first Christian person probably thought they were crazy or they would have had they not been surrounded by 13 other people that believed the same thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so even with us, it's so easy for us to be like, oh man, this is crazy. How can I believe this? Surround yourself with people that believe the same thing. There's not one Christian out there that would have not abandon Christianity had they not been introduced to church or other Christians because they would have just sat there and been like, why should I believe this? And you think you're crazy, but you're not. There's safety in, in, in a multitude, you know, and, and sometimes you know the answer. You just need to hear it from somebody else's mouth. That's why people like on Yes are important. People like John are important and people that are like-minded are important and you should look for people that are like-minded. So, there's nothing wrong with, with any sort of ideology, I don't think, but everybody has their own ideology that uh, they should be consistent with. And when they find somebody that matches that frequency, I think that they can achieve, you know, whatever they want. The Bible says when two come together and touch and agree, anything you ask for in heaven will be done on earth. Mm -hmm. That is why this service that you've done for me on yes and all the people in the comments and all the people that agreed with me uh, uh, did that service they did was invaluable. Um, all of you guys, you all touched my soul and man, I can't wait to, to, I can't wait to, to send all the pictures out of the wedding, but y'all got to keep it incognito. Y'all got to keep it on the down low. You, you can't find out about all of this. She's not going to know of a, oh, well, I guess I'll probably be there at the wedding, but that's, you know, yeah, she's not going to know about this little secret thing. No, doing. no, she won't know about being on public YouTube with you. Yeah, I don't know how she's a, she's a fiery little Latina, so I don't know how she's going to take that, you know. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Well, she will have seen your journey leading up to where you were at. It's not a bad Maybe we'll be able to let her down easily. I don't know. <laughs> so like, you know. Let her ease her into, you know, like, hey, have you ever heard of Law of Attraction? Like, <laughs> <laughs> ease her into it. Oh, yeah, by the way, she, have a look at yeah. these couple of YouTubes I did. <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, <laughs> no, that's funny. And she, and she already knows about LOA, but uh, – I don't know if she knows about it on this level, you know. And you know what? It'll work out. Um, another beautiful thing. I came home, and my sister, you know, she's being a little quiet or whatever. Hmm. Nothing wrong with her. We had a great Father's Day. We spent some great time together. But um, I'm thinking, man, she got her man back. She should be ecstatic, right? Um. And she wasn't. So we were talking, and then she says, hey, how's everything going? And I assumed that, I automatically assumed she wondered how my journey's going. Because, like, me and her, we were kind of in the same corner for a while. And I was like, man, you know, everything's going great. Still believing. Still working hard. Still improving. Having all these wonderful things come. Um, you know, how's you and, and, and the, the mister? They're still together. They're in a wonderful, happy relationship. She said that it was like nothing ever happened. She was a little melancholy because, like, you know, when somebody breaks your heart, your parents, they, like, automatically don't like that person. Mm -hmm. Like, so that's what's going on with her. So she's, like, keeping her on the down low, too. Yeah. You know, she's going to talk to the family about it. I don't know why she's acting weird. She's a grown-ass woman. She's 28. <laughs> You know, do whatever the hell you want to. For me, <laughs> my parents can hate my guts or hate my, hate my wife's guts. And I'll just be like, hey, I love you guys, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go over here and, and, you know, have a good time. Sorry. Yeah. All right. You know, it wouldn't bother me, but it bothers her. Maybe it's because she's a girl. I don't know. Mm. But um, she, uh, what I told her, I said, listen, do you remember when? 
so many uh, months ago, I told you one day you're going to be looking back at this moment like, I can't believe I was so worried over not having this guy. Because <laughs> I'm with him now. And I'm like, and now we're here. You can do the same thing with this new situation. Yeah. And um, she, uh, she says to me, she's like, you know, it's crazy because I know I have power, but sometimes I just feel defeated by certain situations. I know I have power because I would say things like, wouldn't it be something if Andrew called? And then Andrew called. Wouldn't it be something if Andrew came and visited? And then Andrew comes and he visits, you know? And all these things started happening. And I think one of the worst things that we can do as believers is exert this power and see this power and deny it. There's so many manifestations that have come to each and every one of you guys, even in your journey to get back to your specific person. You have yeah. all seen manifestations that y'all know is the law of attraction. Yeah. Me, me too. I'm, I'm saying this to myself too. Yet you guys have cried at night and said, it could never happen. Why do I believe in this BS? But it happens. It's real. I can't tell you how many manifestations. In fact, I, I was telling on yes about a list that I made the other day. I wrote this list months ago, back when me and Nisha were still together, and I called it my magic list. Okay. And even though when we uh, were together, we were together, I was still like scared that it was going to fail at that time. But I wrote this list, and on the list, the first one was. Oh, Nisha will want to marry me. I'm the only guy in her life. And, you know, she loves me unconditionally and all, all that stuff. It was like a long paragraph of her <laughs> love. <laughs> you guys know how it goes. I know y'all do. <laughs> Don't play me. Act like I'm all being all extra mussy and stuff. I can already <laughs> But uh, I wrote that. That was the first one. Second one was 100% from the VA, VA claim. Third one was passport. From the what? What was that one? I missed it. The VA? 100% from, from the VA. What's that mean? Uh, 100% disability from Veterans Affairs. Ah, okay. Yeah, so uh, then the third one was car, passport, and house. And then the fourth one was YouTube channel. So I, one, still externalizing in the process of happening. You know, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You know, se <laughs> second one um, with the VA claim. So I got 80%, waiting on 100%. It's coming soon. But hey, 80 is better than nothing, baby. You know what That's I mean? Right. I ain't be mad at him. I ain't crying. I'll tell you that. I'm making some money, baby. So that's number two. Uh, number three, working on getting a passport. Um, and it wasn't, it wasn't because of the list. I had totally forgotten about the list. It was like almost a year old. But I got a new car. Keep talking. I'm just getting my biscuits out. But keep talking. I'm not ignoring you. You're fine. Uh, working, on the, uh, working on the house right now. And I've been house shopping. And, and I didn't realize that I was doing all of these things until after I stumbled on this list. The whole thing with the passport, you know, a guy from Costa Rica calls me. And he says, hey, come to Costa Rica. We'll work on manifesting together for a week. I got a workshop going on. His name is Josiah Brandt, wonderful cat. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. And I started doing all the paperwork for my passport. And I'm just waiting for it in the mail. <laughs> and then uh, and now, and then I see the list, and it's like, passport I got. And I'm just like, whoa, that's really, that's really specific. That's really uncanny. It's something I forgot, you know, like. I can't believe that I have that on this list, like from a year ago. Uh, then I have, uh, the last one was a YouTube channel. So I'm talking to Agnes, and Agnes says, hey, you really got a knack for, you know, interviewing, and you got a real TV personality. So I told her, I was like, it's the dimples. You know, they do all the work. But <laughs> outside the dimples, I thought, <laughs> you know what, I guess maybe I should make a YouTube channel. Maybe, you know, I should make, uh, uh, maybe I could make a living out of helping people, especially the guys that are going through what I'm, what I'm going through, you know, because I know a lot of guys don't feel like 
uh, they're catered to in this uh, in this area. But I'd like to change that. You know, I'd like to uh, uh, be a safe haven for them. Um, but it's uh, and I'd love to. It'd be great to have that as a living. It'd be it'd be great to help all my brothers out there. So, you know, feel free to check out my new channel. Sorry, it looks like it was shot with a potato. You know, the the first video, but it'll get better. You know, I promise you that. <laughs> what do you it'll mean, be... shot with a potato? It looks like I used a potato as a camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's how bad the quality is. It's that. <laughs> David, I shot the first hundred and fifty on my iPhone four. So. Oh, there we go. Great. Yeah. 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 So really, I'm telling you that it's not that important. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. I didn't have any money then and I couldn't afford any equipment and I thought I'm not going into debt. So you just start with what you've got. You know what, you guys, if y'all want some good camera quality, y'all get me as a coach. I'll do whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Your hard earned tears and, and money will mm. vote better quality manifestation videos mm. um, but yeah it, the title of my first video is grow with me i'm wearing a purple shirt um, <laughs> we'll put a link I, to it david yeah, you know uh <laughs> i want to see it yeah okay you i'll let you i'll uh try to send it to you and then we can uh yeah get it going from there yeah. i you know it's kind of niche you know it's got some uh, the channel's gonna be you know about fitness too cool fitness can change you guys' lives beautiful and this is like the place that you should be yeah while you're going through what you're going through and listen i know a lot of you guys are gonna be like oh why should we have david as a coach he doesn't even have his his person back hey listen i'm healed <laughs> I know a lot of you guys are on the verge of suicide. I know a lot of you guys are crying. And I know a lot of you guys are broken inside. I'm not broken. Mm. I feel great. I'm smiling. I'm, I'm feeling wonderful. If you want to feel like me, I can tell you how. Um, <laughs> I can help you. You know what I'm saying? Worst case scenario, you mm. end up with a super hot bod, more successful <laughs> life, with all the money. And you can wipe your tears with some $100 bills because I manifest money, baby. Okay? <laughs> Listen, I, I'd rather be alone without my wife uh, uh, blowing my nose with $100 bills, you know, <laughs> and, and an a eight-pack, a rock-hard eight-pack, and, you know, maybe two or three girls in the bed next to me crying over this one lady than I would <laughs> crying over her with nothing. You know, that's not going to happen. We are getting married. Don't misunderstand me. Don't worry. If you ever see this, hopefully you'll never see this. I promise there are not two or three girls in the bed next to me. <laughs> don't, 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 don't be stack, please. I love you. That's good. that's good you covered your backside there. <laughs> uh, I got to, man. If I don't, what? Well, she'll tan that high. But all four and nine of her. Mm, oh yeah, that's right. Oh God, you make me laugh. Sorry, I'm really hungry because I can smell these, so I need to eat them. Ah oh, no, it's all good. What is that? Are those the biscuits? Yeah, I made some almond meal biscuits. That's so crazy. Yeah. No, no, they call cookies biscuits over there in Australia. They they're backwards if I ever seen it. Biscuits, yeah, <laughs> and in England, England's biscuits as well. That's awesome. Canada and US, it's cookies, so it depends on where you come from. That's true. So we're probably <laughs> you guys. But anyways, I digress. Life is great. <laughs> it's it's wonderful. Um and I'm I'm feeling good. We're gonna we're gonna uh we're gonna make it shake, shake and bake, baby. Hit them with the old razzle baby. So what are you up to now? Like, what's kind of your next? What, well, what, what are you kind of, because you're a bit of an action figure. You like action things. Oh, I sure do. Yeah. Um,
Okay, as you were saying. Yeah, the uh, concerning the action thing, I definitely am taking some actions, but all you guys out there that are killing yourself trying to do a whole bunch, you know, like, I think there's a such thing as too much information, mm. you know? I watch manifesting videos all day, every day, and I see 15,000 wonderful techniques online that'll all work wonderfully, but that doesn't mean I should go out and try all 15,000 of them, you know? I really feel like that sends the universe a mixed signal that says, I don't believe what I did at first was good enough, so I'm going to do something else, and hopefully that'll work. Yeah. And it won't work instead, but that you just... Yeah, I agree. So you were saying? Yeah, sorry about that. I'm talking this one. <laughs> but um, well, what I was saying was, you know, there's a lot of uh, Billy Osbrook says, "Hey, pray for what you want once, and then every time you feel like you need to pray again or do another technique or something, instead of doing that, say thank you for what you already have, because then if you don't do that, yeah, the enemy." will think that you didn't believe in what you did before. And if he knows that you didn't believe in what you did before, you're much easier to attack. Now, some of you guys don't believe in the uh, enemy. Some uh, of you guys don't believe uh, uh, in Satan, and that's fine. But I know that y'all believe in evil thoughts, negative thoughts, backwards mm. things. If you will persist in those things if you don't thank God for what he's already done. Or, you know, for the others, if you don't thank the universe for what he's already done. Those thoughts will persist. You thank him for what you already have. That's the key. Uh, and sometimes the action to do is no action. Hmm. Sometimes the action to do is go on with your life. If you had that person, you'd still be going to work. You'd still be going to the gym. Mm -hmm. You'd still be eating, you know, however many meals a day. You'd still be doing all of these things. Yeah. But you got to take so much action concerning what you want uh, uh, to manifest that it, it really hinders you. And I promise you guys, there's doing techniques and prayer is wonderful, but just, just loving yourself and loving that person is enough. That's enough. The universe knows. The universe knows. And prepare. Prepare. Love yourself first. Love them. Prepare. You don't even have to ask the universe because you've been asking with your heart and your soul and your mind, you know, and it'll come to you. It will come. If you have stepped out on this journey, you guys, unless your specific person dies, if you have stepped out on this journey and shoot, you might save their life by wanting them. They might not kick. They, they might have been destined to kick the bucket, but you wanting them kept them alive because the universe was like, now I got to give them this person. They, they can't kick the bucket now, you know? <laughs> you all are out there saving lives. Congratulations. <laughs> I really feel like y'all deserve uh, uh, a round of applause. I'd give you one, but my other hand is um, but <laughs> There we go. Right there. Thank you guys. Saving lives. I love y'all. You are nuts. You are you a are certified organic nut, David Nurse. <laughs> But, uh, hey, listen, um, if y'all have stepped out on this journey, it's because your inner man, your spirit, God, the universe, knows that you've already got what you stepped out for. You would not have stepped out in the first place if it was not possible. You just have to continue to believe. Doubts are going to come, but your belief can outlast them. You can outlast them. You can outlast the tears. You can outlast the crying nights. You can outlast the doubt. I had a uh, my best friend. He he almost committed suicide over a female uh, uh, a couple days ago. Mm. You know, I stopped like coaching him, not because he was a lost cause, but because I realized I've been here before. There's no amount of logic that I could spew, you know, mm. or give him that'll get him out of this this state. I just need to let this state tire itself out. I need to let his doubt, his fear, his anxiety, and, and his, his broken spirit tire itself out. It cannot last forever. So I just said, hey, man, go ahead and cry it out. Go ahead and curse your name. 
Go ahead and do all of these things. Mm. I know that you're going to love her at the end mm. of the day. I've cried. I've cursed your name. I've doubted. You know, I've been broken. But you know what? My love was real. And it outlasted all of that BS. And so will yours if it's real. Your love will outlast all the hatred, all the fear, all the sadness, and all the anxiety. So I don't even try to stop that stuff because I look at it and I'm like, man, you know, I have those things, but they're so small in comparison to the love that I have. And for each and every one of you, all the anger that you have towards your specific person, all the sadness that you feel, all the I miss you's and the neediness and the desperateness, I know that that is extremely small in comparison to how much you love that person. And however long it takes for you to sort those things out, and they'll be sorted out naturally without even any coaching, without having to know anything about the LOA, you know, all that stuff helps. But your, your body, your mind, your spirit will sort that self out. And what's going to be left? That love. And if that love isn't left, you know, when, when all that stuff is sorted out, then the universe probably does have somebody else for you. But... That's your choice because you can choose to love. The universe is going to give you what you want. You know, just cooperate with it. And if what you want is that person, if you want is, is Bobby or if what you want is Susie, then, you know, don't settle for nothing less. I don't believe in plan Bs. I do not believe in plan Bs. It's plan A or I'm going to die trying. That's it. Anything less for me is not successful. Anything <laughs> less is quitting. I don't care how bad a chick is. And boy, let me tell you, boy, howdy, I see some baddies lately. Oh, my Lord, especially in the gym, because you go, I like it fit. I see them. But um, you know what? I made my decision. Anything less is, is less than success. And I'm a successful person. I am success. I am going to get what I desire, what I want, what I believe. Anything less. Don't let nobody uh, tell you there, there ain't, there's other fish in the sea. Yeah, there's other fish in the sea, but this is my fish, okay? <laughs> this fish right here. This fish right here is mine. You can have any of the other billions of fish. This one, don't touch this one, okay? <laughs> that's, <right. laughs> okay. So that's how I look at it. Yeah, there's other fish in the sea for other people. <laughs> For other people. <laughs> <laughs> this fish right here is mine, okay? Uh, I think you got I think you got a great t shirt there, David. This oh, fish is either. mine. There's other fish in the sea. But yeah. this fish is mine. Yeah, don't touch this fish. Don't even look at it. Don't look at my fish. Oh, okay? <laughs> oh I like that. That's cute. Sure, you know what? T shirts coming soon. Just visit my channel. <laughs> So, so, speaking about your channel, what are you going to be talking about and how often are you going to do YouTubes? Man, you know what? I'm going to try to do them um, maybe two or three times a week. Okay. Hopefully, soon it will be once a day. Yep. But, guys, I want to see – I want y'all to see me go from David to Goliath. I'm trying to turn <laughs> into a freak. Like, I, I don't, I don't want to, like, walk through doors normally. I want to have to, like, turn sideways and have <laughs> Get me through them. You know what I mean? Like, I want to walk on the street and people are like, freak! You know, like, scared. <laughs> children on the street. Like, like they'll be like, hey, we can't take you to the doctor anymore. You got to go to the vet now. You're, you're an animal. You got like hooves. And <laughs> I don't even know what this guy is. Is he human? You know, that's what I want, right? Okay. I want that. I want that. And that's, so, and that's what you're going to talk about on your YouTube channel. I mean, I'm going to talk about manifesting, but I'm also talking about how to be a freak, you know? <laughs> and uh, if you guys want to be freaks with me, that's great. And it's an excellent hobby. It's an excellent way for you to take your mind yeah. off of what you're not going through or <laughs> what you're going through and focus on something else. And, hey, you know, if you don't want to leave humanity behind with me and, and turn into, you know, the stuff of nightmares in the gym, you know, um, you can um, you can also just get fit. You know what I'm saying? You can also just just be physically fit. And I'd love to inspire you guys to just change your life in that way. That can change your life. Yeah. And it's 
it's it's a great way to cure depression too yeah you i was know? gonna say when you're depressed you don't want to do anything so it's a great way to get over you force yourself to exercise yeah for you guys out there you know yeah. i know you're gonna throw on a v-neck sweater one day or a v-neck shirt you're gonna be stepping out you're gonna like be like man i wish i would have watched david's channel or <laughs> i wish i a couple more sets on the bench press and i'd like have some upper pecs to show <laughs> maybe i should wear a sweater instead okay <laughs> or, you know i'm feeling kind of small you don't have to feel that way just call me baby I got it. you know uh <laughs> and for all you ladies out there you know next time you put some booty shorts on you don't have to sit there and be like man if only I would have done the squats necessary to fill this thing out. You know what I'm saying? I want to look like I'm smothering some beach balls in here. But <laughs> I didn't do squats. You don't, that doesn't have to be you. You can do the squats with me, okay? You so are you, gonna, are you going to do like an exercise program on your YouTube channel? Yeah. Because ah. I, I think that's an important part of manifesting is exercise. Mm. Mm. When you become what you want to be, like yeah. physically, it's so much easier to love yourself. Yeah. It's I so agree. much easier to be confident in yourself. It's so much, and it's, it's, you can't love something without discipline, without disciplining it. You know, if you love something, you discipline it. I love my dogs. I discipline them. I love me. I discipline it. If, when I have kids, I'm going to love them and I'm going to discipline them. Because I love them. So the more discipline you subject yourself to, the more love you're putting into yourself. And, and if you forget to meditate, you know, which you shouldn't, if you forget to sell, say your self-love affirmations, when you discipline yourself, that's an act of self-love in and of itself. I'm doing this for me because I need to prosper. I, I want something good for me in the future. I'm going to go through this pain now so I can reap what, I, what I've sown later. And that's love. Love is pain. When you love something, you'll go through some pain for it. You guys love these other people, you know, and you're going through some pain for it. But that's the price of love, and that's okay. And, and really, that price is temporary. It's so temporary. The, on the other side of it, John Legend says it best. Um, he says, uh, love hurts just a little but there's pleasure on the other side, you know? And hey, man, some people are in the pain. I ain't mad at y'all, uh, y'all little freaks out there. <laughs> it's all right, <laughs> but uh, it's, we're good to go. We're good, we're good to go. So as far as action that I'm taking, I'm just, I'm exercising. I'm taking this YouTube channel and I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn into, I'm gonna turn into an action figure, you know? That's the action that I'm taking mm. for me. Mm. Cool. Well, it's always good to see what the viewers are doing in terms of, you know, creating and creating different things and sh doing what they're good at or what is meaningful to them. It's always good to see that with the viewers. Yeah. Do what's mm. most meaningful to you. Yeah. And everything else will come. Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, pull yeah. yourself up by the britches and, and, and look up Billy Allsbrooks, y'all. Look him up. Listen to, that, listen to him every morning. Okay, meditate every morning. Pull up on Yes's meditations. Meditate every morning. Pray every morning. And do those things every night before you go to bed. Get your little ritual going and leave it at that. And, and, and you know, focus on you. Focus on yourself. I promise you, you, each and every one of you have asked the universe a billion times for that person back. The universe will not forget. The universe is probably annoyed. It's like, oh, my God, shut up. I'm working on it. I promise you. It's not going to forget. Focus on yourselves. Yeah. The universe, it knows. Yeah, I agree. I agree. David, that was nearly an hour. An hour with you goes like so quick. Really? Man, yeah. it feels like it's been 20 minutes. I, I know. I just looked at the time. It's like five to five. Unbelievable. Oh, man. Hey, you guys, I love y'all so much. 
I'm, I, I think I'm going to send you all my number, man. Uh, <laughs> you guys should have my email. And you guys will have my channel. Did we put your email in the last YouTube or was it just you answering questions in the thread? Oh man, I got so many emails. If it oh, wasn't email, email, so we must have we must yeah. have put your email address in then. Yeah. If you got email, you can, yeah. my, you can put my email in there. Uh, All right, yeah. and we'll and put you, we'll put your YouTube channel. We'll put your email, and then if you feel like it, you can answer comments in the threads as well. Of course, man, that's my favorite. I love reading the comments. You know, and you, and now you've got time because you've left your job. I got time now, baby. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. beautiful well any last words before we sign off man it's gonna be all right all of you guys have already won if you just be the best person you can be y'all's people saw something in you before and they're gonna see it again you just be the best you you can you already did it you've done it if you set out to say hey i don't care how you would not be watching this video if you have not already gotten your specific person back. You just got to be perseverant. You just got to weather the storm, man. You got to – Jacob waited seven years to get with Rachel. And then after he went seven years to be with Rachel, he had to work another seven years after he got her. That's 14 years. It says that those years went by as days. Now, to us, it seems like days goes by as years, but there's a reason for that. The reason is because you guys aren't focused on yourselves. You guys aren't focused on your work. You guys are focused on getting that person back. Mm -hmm. Jacob was working <laughs> that whole time. I'm sure that's what made years go by as days. Mm. And, man, I, it's like my shirt is on fire. I'm moving. And I'm, I'm trying to get everything done that I can in life. And, and without contacting that person or blowing them up or all that other stuff looking at their Facebook channel. Listen, you got it. You can wait. And if it takes longer than seven years and you still want to, if you want to quit after that, you have my permission to quit. But until it's been seven years, <laughs> you cannot quit. Don't stop. You don't have my permission before then, all right? The time starts now. Seven years. I'll see you in seven years, okay? Okay, David. All right. Thanks for coming and spending some time with us and um, always a good side salad to the main dish. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I enjoyed it. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching another interview and I will put all of David's in bits and pieces down in the description for you to contact him. Lots of love, everybody. Bye.